I'm Tracy Sinclair and this is your fast cast for June 18th, 2024. Our top story for today, wishing her teammates the best and vowing to be back even better. Swimmer Lydia Jacoby scratched from the 200 breaststroke, meaning she will not be competing in Paris this summer at the Olympics. The 2021 gold and silver winner from Seward says she'll be cheering loudly from home. Jacoby was edged out yesterday in the 100 meter breaststroke, finishing third. She posted that she is more than an athlete and not defined by her results. One man was killed when he drove his truck across a center line and hit an SUV. Anchorage police say it happened early this morning on Kincaid Road near West Park Drive. The pickup was going east when it veered into the oncoming SUV. A passenger in the truck and both of the people in the SUV were taken to the hospital but are expected to live. Police are still looking into what caused the truck to be in the oncoming lane. Crews have suspended the search for a missing woman in Ketchikan. The Alaska State Troopers and Ketchikan Volunteer Search and Rescue spent days looking for 48-year-old Christiana Watt. Her car with her cell phone and wallet were found in the Ward Lake parking lot last Monday. They looked in the surrounding area and in the lake but did not find her. The search could be revisited if new information is discovered. Smoke from a fire in interior Alaska is visible from Fairbanks. The McDonald fire is burning through black spruce in the Tanana Flats training area. Crews are keeping an eye on the Richardson Highway south of Fairbanks on the fire's northern edge. The extreme heat rising from the fire is forming pyrocumulus clouds. So far, no structures are threatened but the 30, 000, by the 30,000-acre fire. Of course, you can find all the day's news and sports, of course, and your weather on alaskasnewsource.com, our streaming platforms, and at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on Channel 2 and Channel 5.